Uh, well, hey everyone, I'm Julia Miatsen. I'm a product designer in editor team, in IDE team, but it doesn't matter because today I'm not going to talk about IDE or any other product that I have. I want to talk about animations. And uh, I think everyone of you will think about something like this, but I won't talk about Tanuki animation. I'll talk about interface animations. Uh, and I want to start from our users, and they are not robots. They don't live in the Boolean world, so they they are humans, like real ones, like us. And uh, everything that uh, works around them animated, already animated. And it's kind of natural for them, because it's the part of their life. Uh, and uh, we are predators and our eyes are designed to focus on moving objects uh, and uh, we can use this trick and uh, focus our users on specific things that are important for them or for us and also we can tell something to our users without words or additional illustrations or additional icons or anything else we just can add some meaningful uh, uh, animations for them and uh, of course animations is the next step for all mature design systems and I think that uh, pajamas is uh, a real mature design system so I have no reasons to not start working on animations so let's uh, do it and uh, I prepared four types of interface animations actually it's five but I mixed uh, two of them uh, in one point because they kind of relate to each other. And first one is a feedback. It's about uh, controls and all the interactive uh, elements because they have to give a feedback to our users. Um, next one is about focus and explanation uh, because we're predators and our eyes designed to, to focus on animated things. And we can use this and also we can explain users with animations uh, what's happening right now, uh, where uh, this thing going and where it's from. And uh, also we have uh, engagement animations. It's uh, about uh, waiting time. Uh, when we're doing something and user have to wait, we have to engage them somehow. And the last one, uh, the most complicated one uh, is emotions. Uh, it's something um, not about interaction. It's more about really emotions, about our brand, about users, about being human, and about, about uh, building these bounds uh, between us uh, as a brand and uh, users. So the first one, feedback, uh, as I said, it's about uh, controls uh, and all the interactive elements. It's always have to start after uh, user's action and never before user's action. Uh, what we have right now, we have a lot of different controls and interactive elements and all of them um, have different animations and some of them don't have any animation or don't have transition, but have some different states uh, and uh, it's uh, it's it's not a system uh, it's unpredictable for users what will will, will be happening uh, after the action and what we can do uh, right now we have a groups of elements sometimes and they have different types of animations or don't have animations like uh, like inputs and uh, we can just uh, sorry uh, we can just use one type of animation, uh, just border color, not the border width, and other stuff. And uh, about focuses, we don't have to show focus all the time, focus ring. Uh, we have to show focus only for keyboard users and for mouse users. We don't have to show it all the time. So we can just simplify our interface with this type of animation. Also, we have controls that don't have any state, like they have states, but not really states so it's strange and we can just uh, reuse things that we already have if we have button animation we can just apply it for other buttons uh, even if it's not the same component but it's the same meaning um, next one 
oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, next one uh, is about links. Uh, we have links and we have link buttons and they have the same uh, hover state. They don't have an animation and uh, it's kind of messy uh, because if you hover on the link uh, in the text, it's just hard to read. And uh, what we can do, uh, we can apply different animations for buttons and for links because it's kind of logic <laughs> because for for buttons we already have some animations and we can use for link buttons and uh, the same animation and for links we can animate this uh, underline uh, we can animate its uh, color and its width so uh, it could be more smooth and more tidy uh, next one about, about uh, links we also have links in our breadcrumbs and they have a strange um, hover because when I hover on uh, the picture I see uh, the underline on the text and nothing around the image which is strange and we can just uh, reuse something that we use for buttons and uh, it will look more I don't know nice uh, and the last uh, example is labels uh, because it looks like um, you know uh, a shape I don't know, like like buttons, not like a, t a piece of text. And uh, we have right now animations just for text and uh, a strange animation for the cross because we don't have anywhere else this animation. And we can just reuse animation that we already have and uh, apply background and border animation and use button animation for button. So it's a professional like our brand but also it's supportive and welcome to our user because they know um, what to expect and uh, it's accessible but also it's nice and beautiful accessible not always have to be ugly <laughs> it could be beautiful and nice uh, next one is about focus and explanation and uh, it's about interactive elements uh, and uh, content blocks. It's always have to uh, start working after user action and uh, I have one example. We have um, this pattern in the few places uh, in GitLab and uh, one of them here uh, it's uh, comments when I open uh, for example a page from from email or someone send me this link, uh, I open it and I see this um, comment, but with background and it's uh, not in the right place and uh, it's uh, loading for, for a while and I have to wait for it and I can uh, miss this uh, focus. And if you add a small animation with the right timing, I see what someone sent me. Uh, it's professional as our brand <laughs> again, but it's also supportive and welcome because uh, users see what we wanted to show them. And it's uh, neutral, but uh, it's also tidy. Uh, next one is about engagement. It's about uh, waiting for something. So it's not about interaction. It's more about loading the content, the page or the part of the page uh, or some small thing. And uh, we have uh, spinners, we have skeleton and we have Tanuki loader. And uh, on the page, it looks kind of weird because uh, it's tiny, it's uh, too neutral. And uh, I just don't want to stay on this page and wait for it. I just want to go somewhere, I don't know, on YouTube and wait for it there because it's more entertaining. And uh, of course, you you can think <laughs> you can use something like this, but uh, it's uh, it's against our brand because we're not a instrument for child or teenager, and uh, we're not about uh, something like Trello, for example, because they're super happy and nice. Uh, we're not about this. Uh, we professionals, and uh, we can use just um nice smooth easings we can use our brand colors and uh, do something like this it's super simple and uh, but it's still gitlab or we can use a morphing animation or something like this uh, it's scalable it's uh, still neutral uh, but it's uh, gitlabish uh, so it's professional 
but it's engaging and supportive and it's neutral it's enough neutral not not too neutral like we have right now but still uh, and it's branded and the last type of animations uh, is about emotions and uh, it's about all the brand elements that we have so it's illustration promo materials uh, it's about icons uh, it's about uh, promo blocks that we have banners and everything else and uh, we have none of them right now like none of them <laughs> and uh, sure you can think well right now can we add something like this no we can't because <laughs> it's against our brand but we can add uh, some little things for example when we show that um, the banner we want to highlight that we have something that user need and we can just add a little tiny animation and uh, the user uh, will use something else on the page and they will see that something moving it's uh, moving with our easings our timings uh, it's our illustration it's our brand element but it's moving and it's uh, attracts user and they will think oh, okay i think i missed something in this merge request and i have to add something here uh, and for example we have uh, brand uh, popovers but uh, they are not really brand popovers they like any other popovers that we have but they sell something to users and it looks like we have to um, do it more attractive to users and we can use uh, our uh, brand elements from our marketing side and uh, add some some animation to uh, marketing illustrations and uh, add illustration <laughs> to these popovers and uh, it looks kind of neutral but still uh, it uh, promotes something to me as user uh, so yeah it's professional but it's uh, enough emotional and printed and it's uh, neutral but unique because we use uh, our brand elements and uh, to build everything like i showed before uh, we need a system we need a list of variables like uh, easings timings uh, patterns that we can reuse for uh, new elements and also we need documentation because even right now we have animations uh, at least a few of them but we don't document it and we don't know how to use them and how to re reuse them and how to create new ones. So we need uh, a new documentation page. And uh, I uh, I think you, some of you want to help me, I hope. I hope someone want to help me. And uh, you can uh, share with me your workflows where you think uh, animation would be appropriate. Uh, you can share with me your favorite references if you have some uh, projects that you like and you, you saw somewhere good animations or something like this. Uh, just please share it with me. And uh, I'd be happy if uh, you'll get give me some support because it's really it's it's a huge task and uh, uh, it's a lot of work here so uh, thanks oh we have questions <laughs> um we'll edit editing in animations impact our system performance load time for pages uh no it shouldn't i um suggest using uh, css animations and uh, if we we'll use them right they won't load our performance because they uh, they use uh <laughs> i don't know how to explain these things uh well yeah like css animations are cool they they won't uh you know, uh, impact our performance. Uh, in the case of AI recommendations, would it make sense to have an animation that isn't uh, initiated by the users? Uh, I don't know, to be honest, because I, um, I don't know all the workflows that we have for AI. I think if you have any of them, just share it with me. Uh, and we can discuss. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we have something there, but uh, I don't know.
We'll open it up for a few more questions. Okay. Thank you so much, oh, Julia. Thanks. Wonderful work.